How to fix no audio output device is installed in Windows 10. Hey everyone, welcome back to Crown Geek. In this video, I will be sharing five effective solutions to fix Windows 10 audio output device not installed. Or if you're not able to hear any kind of sound from your uh, speaker, from your headphone, then follow the steps. And if this works for you, please consider subscribing to the channel, like the video. And still, if you have issues, then please let me know in the comment section. So we will start with the basic troubleshooting step that is troubleshooting the audio problem. So click on your search box, type here trouble. And from the suggestion, choose troubleshoot settings. Click on additional troubleshooters. And here look for playing audio. Click on it and click on run the troubleshooter. So it will start detecting the problem. And then it will ask that which device you have the problem with. So if you have multiple output device, then you have to pick the one for which you have the problem. So let's say I have a problem with my speaker Realtek High Definition Audio. That is a current default device. So I will select it and then click on Next. So it gives me some suggestion that turn off sound effect and enhancement. So if I want to apply this solution, I can click on Yes Open Audio Enhancement and then I can disable all sound effects, okay? So you can apply the solution similar way, follow the steps given by the troubleshooter, try to apply the solution and see if this fixes the problem. And if not, then you can close everything. Now right click on the Windows icon and from the list choose Device Manager. Once the Device Manager comes up, on the top you will find Audio, Inputs and Outputs. Double click on it. And then here you will find your output device. So if you're using any kind of headphone or any external speakers, so whichever you are using, look for it, right click on it and choose disable device. Then click on yes. And once done, wait for a second. Again, right click on it and choose enable device. After doing this, Check back again that if you are now getting the output, if you are now getting the sound and still if you have the same issues, then again right click on it and choose update driver. Then click on search automatically for drivers. And if there are update available, it will automatically update it. And if not, then you can close it. And now you also need to restart your Windows audio service. So click on the search box again, type here service. And from the suggestion, choose services app. Now here, scroll down until you find Windows Audio. Here it is, double click on it. And here you have to make sure that the startup type is set to automatic and the status is set to running. Okay, and if not, then you have to choose it to automatic and then start the service. But if it's already been set to automatic and the status is running, then you have to click on start. Once done, click on OK and check back that if this fix a problem. And if not, right click on the sound icon and choose sounds. Here click on the playback and look for the right device from here and it should be having a green tick. That means set as default. So if you are getting the, so if you want output as real tech digital output, so right click on it and choose set as default device. Okay. And also make sure that your headphone or your external audio device has been properly connected to your computer. So that's all guys. You can also try restarting the PC. And if this worked for you, please consider subscribing to the channel and let me know in the comment section if you still have any problem. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.